there, it's red. So today I have my Bibliothon tag, and if you guys don't know what the Bibliothon is, even though like you, you're probably most of you guys are probably sick hearing about it, but it is a readathon that I host with six other wonderful ladies, and. Basically, you just do video challenges and reading challenges and just all kinds of fun stuff. And that runs from January 3rd through January 9th with a live show for the group book on January 10th. And I will make sure that I link everything down below, the Bibliothon channel, all of that fun stuff. Definitely check it out. It's going to be a blast. I know I need to get on filming those video challenges, which is what I'm doing today. The first challenge for Sunday is the Bibliothon tag, although you can post this one early, just remember that you need to post the link to that day's video in order to enter yourself for a chance to win the book of that day. Um, but you can post it early. I'm going to be posting it early, which is why you guys are seeing it now, instead of on Sunday, January 3rd. Number one, did you participate in one of the last Bibliothons? Yeah. I've hosted since the first one when Cassie came up with the idea and I helped her as along with our other hosts found the first Bibliothon, so I have participated in all of them so far. Number two, what was your favorite part about the last Bibliothon? Oh my god, how am I supposed to pick? You guys, you guys, I guess, okay, I do know, for the recreate a cover and I'm completely spacing on the name of the channel that posted this so I will make sure that I put that in here somewhere put it in subtitle something it, I love you shut up okay but I swear my notifications are always going off for our Facebook messenger anyway I will make sure that I put that I will include that information here somewhere because he deserves credit I just cannot think of the name of the channel off the top of my head but he actually did a full recreation for the cover of catch 22 and he recreated the entire cover on the wall and then completely painted himself and dressed himself up as a little man that's on the cover and he placed himself against that cover and he like jumped and then when you saw the picture of it while he was in place it was just so incredible it was such an incredible recreation I just it was just I don't know it was so cool like who thinks of that who thinks of that number three what are you most excited about for this bibliothon I think I'm most excited about seeing the music videos because I just love parodies. I adore music video parodies and all of that and I love to see how people are going to recreate those in a bookish way and I'm just I'm super super excited about it because in my head all I keep seeing is Selena and Sierra's New Moon parody that they made back during the first Bibliothon and that's just like my favorite thing on this planet ever or I think about the uh series of music videos that Selena did in the last Bibliothon over the summer where it was kind of like an MTV countdown sort of thing. Absolutely adored it and now I'm excited to see what everybody else is going to bring to the table because those are always my favorite kinds of videos. Four, give us one hint for your favorite upcoming challenge. Hmm. Hmm. Let's just say that Bella might be digging down deep to find out that she has a few musical talents. Number five, what book are you most excited to read this week? I think I'm most excited to read The Raven Boys, which I am going to be reading for my book that was recommended to me and a book that I love, like judging a book by the cover. And I'm just so excited to read it. Brittany got it for me for my birthday and she raves about this book and we're basically book twins so I know that if she loves it I'm gonna love it and I'm just really really excited to read it and I, it's taking everything in me not to start it right now and to push it and wait till the bibliothon. Number six. What is your most favorite and least favorite reading challenges of the previous bibliothons? Honestly I just really I really really like having a group book. I love the group book. That's obviously going to be the reading challenge that persists through all Bibliothons, but I love having a group book. That is just, I adore that. I love doing the live show. I like having one book that just sort of unites everyone participating. And my least favorite, I think, 
would have to be reading for my least favorite genre, surprise, surprise, which is funny because I'm pretty sure that I was the one that came up with that challenge, which basically, I mean, what are you going to expect? I'm reading for my least favorite genre. genre. I'm only going to love it so much. Number seven, what are your favorite and least favorite videos from previous challenges? I really loved... I really like the whole character takes over your channel one where you like pose as your character in your, the entire video and I really really love that one. I know we did that in the first Bibliothon and I dressed up as Effie Trinket and it was just so much fun and I just loved like getting into character and just having fun with it without having me interfering. And I would say that my least favorite challenge was from the Summer Bibliothon when we did the Draw My Life as a character, which I realized was really, really good in theory and turned out to be the most difficult, the most difficult challenge that I had to work with. It was just hard trying to film it. It was hard trying to edit it. It was just an overall big pain in the ass and I struggled with that one and I struggled how to do that without spoiling anybody and to some extent I think it was impossible for that challenge and I know most of us try to avoid spoilers obviously but with a challenge like that it just proved to be very difficult so we thought that it was a great idea and in theory it seemed like such a great idea but in practice it was so hard it was so hard number eight I have 45 seconds shut up I have 45 seconds to list off my TBR in alphabetical order Okay, okay, I can do this. I can do this. So I have, oh my god, oh my god. I'm not counting thes or anything, because like if I was alphabetizing my shelves, I would not be counting thes and any other articles in the alphabet. See, what are my books? Oh my god, I can't even remember. Soundless the Raven Boys. Oh god, I'm just going to take 45 seconds to even think of my books. Oh my god. So I'm going to say... Uh, Prisoner of Azkaban, The Raven Boys, um, Soundless, and, 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 and Warm Bodies. I don't, is that right? <sighs> okay, that's my order. So you got Prisoner of Azkaban, that definitely comes before R. R becomes, oh, I actually did it, okay. Alright, number nine. What is one suggestion that you'd have for the next Bibliothon? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like whenever I have suggestions, I throw them out there, and we usually adapt to them pretty well. I don't know. I don't know. But really, we created this tag more for you guys so we could get your guys' feedback, so I'm just going to sort of glaze over this question for myself, because I don't know. I don't know. And number 10, who do you tag? So I am going to tag all of the Bibliothon girls since we are all hosting this. I'm just going to assume that you know who they all are. If not, the information's everywhere. Um, I'm also going to tag Sam from Samantha's Books, Molly from Magical Molly. I'm going to tag Sarah from Sarah Sunbeams. I'm going to tag... Who do I know? Why, why do we do this to myself every time? Blondie for... Blond no, Chloe from Blondie's books. Her name is not Blondie. Chloe from Blondie's books. Uh, I don't know. She's not real. She's not a booktuber. She is a beauty guru. But I'm going to tag her anyway because I really, really want her to participate, even if she won't. And that is Sarah from I believe her channel. It, it used to be Sarah's World, and now I think it's Sarah Celeste. Either way, it's going to be down below. I don't know. I had I had one and just. Don't be afraid to post your Bibliothon tag early. It's the only one that we recommend posting early, but I guess it doesn't really matter. But just make sure if you post it early that you don't forget that the day of you want to post the link to that video in that day's video on the Bibliothon channel. If you don't do that, it's not we're not going to know to enter it and all of that jazz. Make sure that you check out all the guidelines for the video challenges. I will make sure again that I link everything below, everything you need to know. And I hope you guys have fun. I am so looking forward to the Bibliothon. A little bit stressed out because I need to get on these videos, but I'm excited. I'm excited. It always comes together and it always works out. All right, that's it. And I guess I'll talk to you guys later.